the church family, the body of Christ. Also, we're giving honor to my wife. I'll be gone for the past two days at Man Retreat. She's the stay home, hold everything together. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to go ahead to open up. Turn with me to the book of Proverbs. The Bible says, My son, attention to my word. Incline thy ear unto my saying. Lest them not depart from thy eyes, see them in the midst of thy heart. For they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Here, what I want to get into, verse 23. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issue of life. Out of it. Out of your heart, they are the issue of life. You may be seated. And uh, I just want to talk to you for uh, a few moments this morning here. And, uh, you know, whilst I was in the, uh, the man retreats and, and have opportunity to spend some quiet time with the Lord, and, uh, you know, and, and it seemed like, you know, it's, you know, we, we, we live in a world that, you know, deal with the issue, with everything you go around, just, you know, the job, the careers, just like, and family, everything, you know. I just wanted to talk to you about, you know, when you leave here this morning, when Brother Ron turned the lights off and, and closed the door, and you got something to, to look forward to it when, when you come off this mountain and you, and you, and you walk on, the di- on dry ground and, and you got something to, you know what, if, if I go to work tomorrow, when the issue arrives, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? You know, I, I'm asking the Lord, you know, I don't want to be a voice of indictment. I want to be a voice of encouragement this morning to all of you. Praise God. The Bible says that Solomon was a, a man with great wisdom. The Bible says he is the wisest man who ever lived. And he said in Proverbs 43, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for our is the issue of life. In another translation, say, Guard your heart with above all else, for the, it determines the course of your life. To keep something in this sense means they're more than simple to maintain ownership. It refers to maintain care and support. And, and, and again, you know, this, we it keep coming up with uh, the, the Bible talking about the heart issue a lot, you know, and, and Proverbs in the 23, 7 say, for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. And, and Matthew uh, chapter 5 and say, blessed are the poor in heart, for they shall see God. Ephesians 6 and 6 say, do the will of God from the heart. No, and and this, in the human body, the, the heart is essential for living. You know, uh, a few weeks ago, we had representative from the Norfolk Fire Department came to our workplace to train us about CPR. You know, I'm not a doctor of science, but I know a little something about human biology that, you know, when the heart stops, you stop. When your heart stops, you stop. See, whenever there is an accident, uh, he sh- they share with us about trauma. When, you, when the paramedics arise or show up on the scene, the first thing they do is they check for pause. Again, no pause, no life. Clearly, this showed how important the heart is to human, human living. Can I tell you this morning, you... Don't just have a human heart that produce physical life. You also have spiritual heart that produces spiritual life. See, in, in, verse, in Proverbs chapter, uh, chapter 2, verse 23, it tells the important issue of the heart. For everything you do flow from it. When the Bible speaks about the heart, it's not, it's not talking about the physical heart, the beat. It refers to the mind, the will, the inner man. The mind, the will, the place where you make decisions in life, every choice you make to become, to do come from decisions you, you will or your mind. That's why salvation has to do with determine your will and your mind. 
Apostle Paul said this way in Romans 10 and 10, For with the heart man believe unto righteousness, with the mouth confession make unto salvation. When you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you receive in your heart, in your mind first, out of abundance of your heart, your mouth can speak it. You know, also, you know, and, and uh, I don't want to just, you know, uh, you know, as for the sake of time, I can share this a little bit with you, you know, when I was younger, you know, I used to, uh, I know I didn't tell it to anybody a lot, you know, I used to box it when I was younger, and, you know, I was, you know, I was doing the Muay Thai and also box type thing. When, uh, when they, when they, uh, when it gets to the ring, so it's like, the rougher you get, they can tell you about, you know, this obey my command at all time, those type of thing, and you know, and they, and they tell you about the rule, those type of thing. And before that, before you start box, they can tell you, protect yourself at all time. They turn it around to the person to the right and to the left, protect yourself at all time. See, the heart, you can have to protect your heart because I see too many people that, you know, it, it, they, they start to walk, you know, with, with uh, Grace and, and, and for some reason along the way they become careless about their walk. So you gotta protect yourself at all time. And, and see that sometimes in the boxing they you have to last until in the year ten round or twelve round. Those kind of things. Say who was you know, ahead on score that's uh, declared winner. And and sometimes you know. The person that hears in every school card get cares and get knocked out. So you just, that's why you know, they, they forget about protect yourself at all time. You got to protect yourself at all time. So I want to leave you uh, with this morning. When you leave here this morning, with the light turn off and you walk on the dry ground, you come up the mountain this morning and protect yourself at all time.